In this video, we're gonna compare these filaments right here, which is the Polymaker Polywood and Bamboo Labs Wood filaments. Now I know this isn't a true comparison because this is regular PLA and this stuff has 30% wood powder in it. So technically it's not a true fair comparison, but this is what I had and I wanted to see if you can actually print this off easier than the Bamboo Labs wood filament since there's a little more restrictions with Bamboo Labs than Polymaker claims you can just throw this in your printer without changing anything. And I wanted to see if that is actually true. And a little bit of a spoiler alert, I had to remake the intro of this video that I had. The first part I had kind of going over how awesome this stuff seems like it would be compared to the Bamboo Labs and came out a lot different than I thought. So I'm actually having to remake it now that I actually have some prints that I'll kind of show you and how they turned out in my experience printing both of these. Now, starting with the Polywood, this is actually the first one I got because I thought it would be the easiest to work with. They claim it mimics real wood, but does not have any sort of wood fill in here or any powder. It's strictly PLA and it gives the same density and appearance as wood using some sort of special foaming technology, they claim. And it does have a slight texture to it. So if you feel the actual filament itself, it does have a texture, unlike regular PLA that's a little bit smoother. So that is one thing to be aware of. And then also it only comes in one color that you can see here, which is basically a wood color. And it does come in a 0.6 kilogram spool. So you don't get a full one kilogram like the Bamboo Labs. Now with the Bamboo Lab, I waited to get this stuff a little while until I got some dryers since this stuff does require drying. But now that I have three dryers, that's not an issue. So I was able to dry these first. And I also went ahead and dried the Polywood just because to give it a fair comparison. But with the Bamboo Labs wood filament, you get several different colors. I have the Black Walnut and the Rosewood because I think these look the best, at least on their website. They have several other options as well. So multiple different color options available with Bamboo Labs wood filament over Polymaker and you just get the one. Now to give you that real wood appearance and texture, Bamboo Lab does have a mixture of PLA and wood powder in this filament. And that's exactly why they recommend drying it with that wood filament because wood does absorb moisture. So you do want to dry this before printing and then try and keep it stored in a cool dry place if you can. Since it does have that wood powder in it, they do not recommend using the 0.2 millimeter nozzle just because it could get clogged. Anything above that 0.4 and above, it works just fine. I'll be using 0.4 on mine. With Polywood, they say you can use any nozzle just because there is no actual wood powder in there. Now, if you are running a Bamboo Lab printer with an AMS system, this works just like any other filament from them. It does recognize that it is the Bamboo Lab wood filament, so it'll automatically change that setting on your printer. Now, that's enough talk about these filaments. Let's actually see how the process went and how they printed out. But before we do that, let's take a minute to thank the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. As a content creator and small business owner, I need workspace that is versatile and high quality. FlexiSpot's E8 standing desk brings everything I need to go from shooting videos to designing and printing off products. The E8 is a spacious and adjustable work surface that provides plenty of room and is easily adjustable to fit your comfort whether sitting or standing. It's a simple press of a button. Multiple size and desktop options are available as well as base colors to fit your needs and creative space. Setup was a breeze and took less than 30 minutes with no drilling required. The desktop is made of mature bamboo that is highly flexible yet strong and smooth. The best part? It's made of one solid piece of wood and making it extremely sturdy and not only able to hold my lighting and camera equipment, but also withstand the vibrations of a 3D printer. Attached to the metal frame are dual electronic motors that generate less than 45 decibels of sound and handle up to 352 pounds. The lift mechanism allows for height adjustments from 24.6 inches up to 50.2 inches, which is displayed on the digital control panel. Not only can it soar four different height adjustments, but also includes a USB port to charge your electronics. Oh, and unlike other standing desks, the E8 has an anti-collision function to prevent children and pets from being injured, in this case, my office chair. For more information on the E8 standing desk, click on the link in the description below. They also have a wide variety of other office furniture and accessories to fit your needs and customize your space. And thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Because FlexiSpot was kind enough to send me that desk, I finally had somewhere to put the filament dryer. So I was able to dry both of the Bamboo Lab at the same time. And I did go ahead and dry the Polywood as well, even though it's not required. I did want to kind of give it a fair comparison with these and kind of eliminate any moisture that might be in there as being a factor for any print quality. Now, the first one that I wanted to try was obviously the Polywood because it says you don't have to change anything. And I hate changing settings on printers. So I figured that would be a good one to start. I went ahead and printed out a Benchy just to get a benchmark and I will 
will do that on all three of these filaments to get a starting point. And once it was done, I was able to get a close up look of the Benchy quality from the Pollywood. And right away, you can see there is some noticeable issues with it. There is a lot of stringing with this stuff that it came off and there's area where some of the layer lines just didn't stick in and they're kind of sticking out there. So definitely some webbing in here and not the best looking Benchy, but it's a start, it's a Benchy. You know, these aren't the best things to print anyway. They are pretty hard, but you can definitely feel that there is a wood texture to this, which is kind of nice. So after the Benchy, I wanted to try a coaster because I've been printing off these coasters and I really like them, but I think they would be cool with a little bit of wood texture in them. So the main body of the coaster is gonna be made with polywood and the actual logo is gonna be made with Bamboo Lab metal filament. So see how it works with different filaments. And then once this was done, I was able to look at the quality of this as well. And I can definitely see some areas where it's not perfect. It definitely has some stuff going on around the edge here that you can see. And I'm gonna compare it to a regular PLA one that I printed out just so you can kind of see what it looks like with normal PLA versus the Pollywood. And to me, just looking at both of these, I do think the regular PLA printed a lot better than the Pollywood with this. It definitely did not like these round corners here. That's where it started kind of messing up with the layer lines there. And there was a little bit of stringing with this as well. And with these two prints, I didn't change any settings in the slicer. I didn't change any settings on the printer. And on the filament setting in the printer, I'm just using a generic PLA setting. Moving on to the bamboo lab wood filament i went ahead and printed a benchy off for each color just to see how each one did and honestly these printed out really good they are almost perfect there's no stringing to these at all all the layer lines are great and because this is a matte finish their layer lines aren't as noticeable as some of the other ones using regular pla so the quality of these little benchies with the bamboo lab wood came out great again since i am using the ams light system it did recognize that this was the Bamboo Lab. So it did automatically change that setting within the printer. So I moved on to the same coaster with the Bamboo Lab filament. I just did the black walnut one and you can see the quality came out much better. Again, working with the Bamboo Lab metal for the logo here. And I don't see any issues. It handled the corners well. There's no stringing. The layer lines on the top look really nice. And then the bottom texture looks good as well. And again, comparing this to the regular PLA one, they both look great. And there is a slight texture of wood on this one, not as noticeable as the one with the Pollywood, just ever so slightly, but I really do like that matte finish with this one. So I decided to go back to the Pollywood and try something different. So I just printed off another coaster, but this one using just the Pollywood. And I did change the setting inside the printer for the filament, and I put it at Bamboo Lab wood filament to see if that might change anything. And as you can see, this printed off pretty bad. There is a lot of stringing going on. It was messing up with the layer lines a little bit because of that stringing, I think, and just there is a lot of mess. This Pollywood made a huge mess with every print that I made. And I almost would have expected that from the Bamboo Lab since it does have that wood filament, but I did not expect that with the Pollywood since it's strictly just PLA, but it made a mess. So this did not print out very well, as you can see. So I went ahead and printed off the same thing in the Bamboo Lab. And just like the Benchy, this thing printed out flawlessly. As you can see here, there is no stringing going on. It did not make a mess like the Pollywood. Everything looks perfect on this thing. And I really do like that color with the matte finish. It does help hide the layer lines. So the Bamboo Lab one did turn out well. No issues with this one. Moving on to the next print with the Bamboo Lab filament. I did want to try something that had a wood look to it in the actual model itself. So I found this on Maker's World, but did shrink it down a little bit just to help save time since I am comparing three different ones. And as you can see, it did print out flawless as well. No stringing with the Bamboo Lab wood filament at all. And the detail is actually really nice. You can see actual what appears to be wood grains in the model. It printed out well. No issues with the layer lines. And again, that matte finish does help hide those layer lines as well. And this was using the black walnut color. And again, it is flawless. I cannot find anything wrong with it. So... Then I decided to try the Polymaker one with the same model just to give it a shot. And this was a mess from the beginning. This thing had stringing going all over the place. I actually kept it on the same BMW Lab wood filament setting in the printer itself, but I slowed the print down to the quiet setting or the slow setting in the printer to see if maybe printing it slower would help. And obviously that did not help at all. There is so much stringing going on in the middle of this vase thing that it is 
a mess and the stringing on the outside and you can see where the layer lines just are kind of falling off in areas and again it made a huge mess printing out there was filament all over the table and everything it just was a mess which is really surprising because they claim you don't have to change anything and it should print out fine and obviously i am finding out that that is not the case so I'm not giving up on the Pollywood yet. I still want to try and get this thing right. So I found a cool model that I'm going to try all the three of these on. And this is just a, it's called a wood meets metal. It's a pen holder. For the metal part, I'm just going to use the Bamboo Lab metal filament. But the main body of it is going to be the wood filament. This time I went into the slicer program for the Pollywood, which I printed off first. And I changed a bunch of different settings on it. I did increase the temperature of the nozzle to see if that would help. And then I slowed everything down inside the slicer to see if that would help. Not just slowing down the whole printer speed, but all the other different speeds within the slicer slicer hoping fingers crossed that would help first layer of this printed out fine because it was the bamboo lab metal and no issues with that but then once it switched over to the polywood as you can see we had the exact same problem the stringing on this thing was extremely bad on the inside there was a ton of stringing stringing as well made the same huge mess on the table and the printer and just didn't look good. So once this was about halfway done, I gave up because obviously this isn't gonna be a usable model. So I went ahead and just sped up the print to kind of get it over with. And again, once it switched back over to the Bamboo Lab Metal, the very top of this came out perfect. No issues there. So it was something with the Pollywood that is the issue. And I'm not exactly sure what that is. So then I printed out the same pen holder with both colors of the Bamboo Lab, Black Walnut and Rosewood. And as we can probably expect now, they came out perfect as well. These, I just did the normal slicer settings that were the preset that the designer already had. And again, just the Bamboo Lab wood filament setting in the AMS system and everything worked perfect. There's no issues where it switched between the two different types of filaments. All the layer lines look great. Inside of these pen holders, there's no stringing, unlike the one from Polymaker, which had a ton of stringing on every single layer. This is flawless, so I don't even have to clean these out. These are perfect. So that was my experience between these two different types of filaments. Obviously the clear winner is the Bamboo Lab wood filament, which was actually kind of surprising to me because I thought the fact that it did have that wood powder in there would introduce some sort of trouble or issues with it but clearly it didn't no stringing or any issues with the bamboo lab one so now that this comparison is finally over i can finally throw out these polywood prints because they are just making a mess everywhere so if you guys have tried out either of these let me know your experience if you know anything that I did wrong with the Pollywood, let me know in the comments below. But the fact is that they claim on their website that you don't have to change any settings. It's kind of irritating because clearly you do, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I got a bad roll or something, but the fact that they're coming out this bad, I don't think I've had a single filament print out anything this horrible. And this was the one I was the most excited about. But if you guys found this video helpful, consider hitting that like and subscribe button because it does help the channel out. And hopefully this helped you on your decision if you were trying to decide between these two filaments. Maybe go with the Bamboo Lab one. Unless you go with the Pollywood and have a much better experience, let us know down in that comment section below and we'll catch you on the next video.